trainer can be your best friend when it's cold and icy outside. Today I'm at Cycle Solutions with Will, the manager here, and we're going to talk a bit about trainers. Will, could you tell us a little bit about the difference between trainer setups, particularly the difference between a magnetic resistance trainer and a fluid resistance trainer? Yeah, for sure. Um, so the more economical option is going to be magnetic. Um, that unit's going to have uh, usually three to five settings uh, for resistance, uh, whether it's remote at your handlebars or down on the trainer itself. Um, really, uh, it's just a plate, two magnets on the sides, and uh, that's what's going to be your resistance. Those magnets get closer to the plate. Right. Uh, as far as a fluid trainer goes, uh, that system is more of a viscous oil. Um, I always use the uh, analogy that when you're mashing mashed potatoes, if you go really, really hard, um, it's going to be thicker, it's going to be harder to move around, where if you have a smoother um, mixing you know, technique, uh, same idea with pedaling, you know, it's going to be a little bit uh, easier or smoother. Um, it allows you to use your gears um, for your resistance, right. um, so if you get into you know, your big ring, bigger watts, it's going to be harder, where if you just want to spin, easier to it's use. Easier. Yeah. So would you say the the fluid resistance unit has more of a road feel to it than the, uh, than the mag? For sure. It's a much smoother unit. Um, that's aided with the flywheel. Right. Um, so it's going to give you realistic roll down. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you're you know reaching for a water bottle or you're in between intervals, right. um, the bike's going to carry or the wheel's going to carry momentum. It's easier to get back on top of the gear. Yeah, so when so when you stop pedaling, you're not starting from zero again. You kind of keep that momentum a little bit. Exactly. Yeah. One of the alternatives to the trainer is actually riding a set of rollers. Oh. What do you think are some the advantages of the roller system? Uh, rollers are nice because the bike moves dynamically underneath you. Yeah. Um, you're definitely using your core uh, muscles because you need to support yourself above the bike mm -hmm. as opposed to sitting static. Um, whether it's a unit like you have the e-motion rollers mm -hmm. um, or something more basic like a set of menorahs, um, it's a little more concentration, but you are using um, more of the muscle groups as opposed to just your legs. You yeah, know, kinda. The, the bike actually sways a bit under you, unlike the trainer where it's fixed. Exactly. I think the other advantage is you get a bit of, um, you're developing your road skills as yeah. well because you actually have to stay on a narrow mm -hmm. set of rollers. Hold that wheel. So yeah, you need to need to pay attention to what you're doing. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there are some products out there. Um, Kurt has what's called a rock and roll. Right. Um, basically the unit just sits on two elastomers so it can lean side to side, um, which again, you're going to have to stabilize your core to keep right. the bike upright. And that's a trainer unit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. so that's uh, more uh, almost a, a fixed unit, uh, though it can shift, it can but shift. Uh, not quite yeah. as uh, but that, dynamic that'll as that'll allow you to do a bit more of a, a proper sprint workout because you can actually sway the bike like you would on the road. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's good for technique. Yeah, exactly. Thanks very much, Will. No problem.